So, whew, I'm all out of breath, which is <laughs> a shame because I caught a, <laughs> a roll of aluminum foil. But as you can see, it's quite a lot of aluminum. And uh, I wish I had a bandsaw, or not a, yeah, well, a bandsaw, yeah, that would be awesome. Would be straight, and I wouldn't be uh, gasping for air right now. Which is uh, pathetic, but it's the way it is. So this goes over here, hopefully, yeah, might need to have a little bit of stick out. Just gonna, yeah, and I'm gonna dump this in the spindle, wrap some tape around it. That's not going anywhere, I think. Okay, so uh, let's um, do the programming of the spindle and uh, see if it fits in a collar without wibbly wobbling all over the place because I didn't even check if this piece of uh, metal was straight. <laughs> oh, I hope it is. It's a Chinese manual, but it works. So I have to, because I use this knob, there are several uh, things you have to change. First of all, the lower frequency that the analog input uh, can handle or produce, and that's in this case it's this knob. Uh, it's uh, PD73. I'll put it on 20 hertz. It's really low, but I'm not intending to uh, do massive stuff with it, so it should be okay. And then I think there is, uh, if I run it. Okay, 2400 RPM, that's still higher, I think, than uh, if I use 20 Hz. So, uh, there's something else going on still, and that is uh, in the beginning somewhere, it's PD-11, if I remember correct, and it's set to 40 as minimum, which is 2400. So. I'll put that, it's some sort of safety that you're not gonna screw up your spindle, but I'm trying, I'm trying not to, but we'll see. Okay, so now I should be able to run it at, ooh, 1200. Okay, so uh, the manual worked out this time. This is, by the way, a perfectly fine manual for a Chinese product. This is uh, good. Uh, let's uh, put the contraption together and see what it does. Main concern first is how much weebly wobbly uh, I will get. This should be not here, but it is here. Now I might actually need to move my spindle upwards because I don't think I can fit it in. Well, let's see. There is no room left here. Um, on the screw there is no room left. So, might need to move the whole spindle uh, a little bit upwards. So, a collet. I had a collet that kind of fits a bit weebly wobbly, but let's see. Ooh. I <laughs> just put it in there. Yeah, there is some weebly wobbly. Not that much, by the way. It's looking quite okay. Now let me think. 
<coughs> How is it wound? It might be needing to turn clockwise. It is turning like this right now, I think. I think that's the wrong direction. So I go anti-clockwise. Reverse. I think it's something like that. Now I need a piece of wood. Jesus, this good MDF is way stronger. You cannot just... Okay, you can, but it's quite a bit harder. So this is gonna be my tool um, thing. It's gonna hold this uh, incredibly nice tool. That's a bit of a waste, as you can see. I might um, put my spindle up a little bit, so I got some tools. Is this the right size? Yeah. It's funny, um, it's hard to see. But these spindle holders have uh, three uh, bolts. And uh, only two you use actually. Um, if you loosen them, Jesus, you can see that the spindle still is in place. Now you turn this bolt inwards, and it will make the clamp larger, and the spindle will loosen up. So it's to hold it, so it doesn't fall out. Well, I'm not cutting with it, so um, this is an odd arrangement, but good enough for now. See if we can make a cut. Let's first get the edge straight. I am gonna lower the the speed it moves way too fast still. It's not cutting that fast. Let's go to 1%. Still too fast. Zero point four percent, okay. Let's see what it does. I hope I don't uh, end up with uh, a knife in my face. So I am gonna use some glasses just to be sure. You never know. Very low RPM. Now yeah, you can hear it's not perfect. through the material. Oh yeah. 
So now it's kind of a zeroed. I think the RPM might even be a little bit tad too fast, and this is weebly wobbling as well. Might. This is quite awkward. Might need to screw over a support or something. It's too uh, sloppy for my taste. I have some wood somewhere. Just a piece of something. <laughs> I don't know, this. This will do. It's not it's not beautiful, huh? Ow, fuck. I think every bit of um, more stability can help out. Maybe I can just drill a hole here. That would be better, I guess. Not sure if I wanted to do that. Ooh, that's way better. Now this would be wobbly uh, in the blade. It would be nice if it's gone as well. And this is asking for trouble. Of course I don't have the right Am I losing it up or am I should be okay let's try it again so now I can say like um, I zero the z-axis and I say well I want a piece of three millimeters minus three that is that minus three let's give it a go starts to make a different sound when it's completely through. Not sure if I was this time. Might not. Might not. Fuck. Also the blade is on an angle which is... I don't think this, this holder is gonna hold it very long. Nah, it's not the best cut. 
Well, that's a fail. Yeah. No. That's not it. Not perfect. There are a few things that I think are going wrong, and it's the blade is on an angle and it's hard to see. It's pointing downwards. It has to be just sitting straight, but might need to shove some stuff underneath that. Kind of shabby, of course. I I am gonna try it again. I'm gonna lower the RPMs even more. So that's 11 set, uh, 20 hertz. Set, and then it was. Also, I'm not sure where I should enter the material, if this should be a little bit straight on, or in front, or behind, I, don't, I'm not, I have no clue. Let's try a different angle, like this. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, Z. Z minus six. Try it again. I don't like the noises. a hard time um, I think the blade is just too small to cut it all the way through although this looks way better this looks let me see if I can unwound it oh you see what I see well there you have it Three millimeter <laughs> wide foil. Okay, not bad. The thing is, this roll of aluminum is too thick for this cutting knife, so it can uh, it doesn't cut the carton with it. So it's still stuck on the spool on the carton uh, piece. But it did cut the aluminum. Fuck yeah! Back inside. So this is what we got. I'm gonna see if I can wiggle it loose and see if we got a continuous foil because if it's broken somewhere along the way then it's of no use. So this is the crap piece. The failed one.
Ah, it's also, it's not supported here, so it should be uh, better uh, along the edge where the whole roll is supported. And it almost went through. You can see it inside. The cutter is not uh, thick enough to, uh, to completely cut the whole roll. It only cut the aluminum. See if we can get it off without fucking it. I think that's rather. That's hard. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Well, let's unroll it. So far, so good. I'm not disappointed at all. Let's see how wide it is. Yeah. It's hard to measure such a thin piece. But you might be able, it still fits in there. It is three millimeter. Maybe I can measure it like this better. Two ninety six. Yeah, so a tiny bit smaller than uh, expected. But uh, that's probably because of uh, I, I turned the blade. You know, because it was on an angle and I um, straightened it out a bit. But that's uh, good. I'm gonna unroll this and see if it breaks somewhere. If it's more than 6 meters, I'm happy. So far it's a uh, half a meter. Ah, I snapped it. That's not good. I'm not sure if I did it or it is fragile, that's for sure. How do you handle this? Yeah, this is a potentially spot where it breaks. Yeah. I think on a smaller roll this would work way better. Less potential failures. It, it, it sticks on one particular there. There you go. I ripped it. Oh, not yet. I did. Kind of. Okay, so this could work. It's not perfect yet. Definitely not. And maybe 2.6 millimeters is a bit too... Um, it's, not, it's not much. Let's see what the resistance is. I'm quite curious. Okay, now, yeah, it's, it's hard to unroll. You break it quite easily. This must be a pain to wind uh, on the on the panel. I can imagine those poor people at MagnaPen. That's no fun. As far as I know, it's done by hand. So we got a piece here. Let's see what the resistance is and what the the actual size is. 
between the tips. Okay, 0 0.7, sort of. Zero point seven, gonna measure it, and then we know the ohms per meter. Okay, so uh, we're one hundred divided by zero point eight eight. That was the length. Um, so one point one three actually. We have to zero point seven times one point one three. So that's around. 0 0.8 ohms a meter. I got six meters or something in my tweeter, so. So, yeah, uh, slightly more even. So, I can make the foil a little bit wider because 4.7 ohm is, uh, well, at least 0.7 ohm too much. So, it has to be three or even bigger, but this is too thin. That's good because this is also a pain in the ass to cut, I think, uh, and to unwind and everything. It's fragile. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna get another piece of aluminum that has, it's not as big of a roll.